Hog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so big, big Boss Hog Marshall's in uh, is my strongman coach. So I now compete in strongman. So not only professional wrestling. Right. I, that wasn't bad enough on my body. I decided <laughs> I wanted to start lifting heavy boulders. I wanted to start carrying yokes. I wanted to start throwing sandbags. I wanted to start doing all these crazy lifts. And so now, yeah, started competing in strongman. So we're coming up on two years of training. Uh, just finished right. a year of competing. So it's been it's been a great ride. Well, you look like you did 10 years ago or so. <laughs> I mean, it's really made a difference. What kind of strength gains are you getting on a percentage? Oh, en- enormous strength gains. Yeah. I, I couldn't put a percentage on it, but it's been it's been incredible. Um, started at, at weighing r- you know, roughly you know, 275, 280, right. and now I'm 285, but everything's in a different place. Right. So it's, like, it's, so it's a lot better. How are those stairs? I've seen those wooden stairs. Oh, the power the, stairs. Yes, the power so, stairs. Uh, I've, I've been, never done I've that. I've been lucky enough to avoid the power stairs. I haven't had one of those in my competition yet, but but Marshall's competing in Finland coming up. Oh, okay. So he's got that in his competition. Right. So he's been training, getting ready for it. And you've never tried it yet? I have not. Not oh. with that kind of weight. Not with that kind of weight that he's been he's been <laughs> training crazy. with 400 pounds. Crazy. Lifting the, going up those stairs. So. When is your next competition? My next competition is on Saturday the 21st of May. So in two weeks. Coming up? Yeah, coming up two weeks. It's a Viking Strong Competition 2022 in Tucson. All right. Yeah. Cool. Well, everybody be on the lookout for that. Now, what I uh, what I really wanted to talk about, man. Let me let me tell you something. I know it's I know it's Lions Big Day, but before we get to that, oh yeah, before we get to that, I got <laughs> the WWE game like the week after it came out. Okay. And uh, I want to tell you, you know, last one, the Battleground. Mm-hmm. I needed an ar- arcade wrestling game so badly, <laughs> and that was I played the hell out of it. Now we're back to uh, simulation, yes. I- if you want to call it that. Uh, it's it's a wrestling game, and. Uh, Wow, I haven't enjoyed a wrestling game this much since Ukes on PS2. All right. You keep talking about the card, the card battle system. What is it, the wrestler manager or the WWE manager mode? The the my uh, the my ma- my general manager, my GM mode. That's yes, what the it's GM called. mode. Yeah. That is strangely addicting, and <laughs> and I'm whooping everybody's ass. Apparently, I know how to throw together a wrestling show. There you a, go. A little bit better than I know how to wrestle. <laughs> and uh, but finally, there's a reversal system. Yes. That is manageable. Now I've seen the old games on YouTube, so I know people are using reversals. Mm-hmm. I could never get it to work. Neither could I. And it's. It was it was junk. It limited the playability, limit everything. So I could what do you're saying it. is, 2K made a reversal mode that people over the age of 50 can accomplish. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Okay. I, I'm okay with it because I was doing it just fine too. I was like, all right, <laughs> all right. Uh, the uh, uh, if I'm to criticize anything, I think the uh, creator wrestler mode is a little shallow, mm-hmm. but uh, uh, you know, of course, way deeper than battlegrounds. But it's, it's true. just a tad bit shallow. And after I spent two hours talking about a shallow uh, create, creator wrestler, I spent two hours making a uh, making a wrestler, only to find out I couldn't use him in the modes I wanted to use oh, him in because no. I, I made him outside of uh, uh, the mode I wanted to use. So I was like, oh, bummer. Yeah, you, know? you didn't want to spend another two hours making him in the other mode. I did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I did. It looks just like me, man. I can't. <laughs> Yeah, so so of course I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna make all the IZW guys you all know, right. into my creative and have a, my own little stable is, is is what I'm going for. But uh, you know you got cards in that game, yep. and uh, that seems to be the big thing now in a lot of games. Yes, is uh, is cards, and uh, but it's not pay to win. Right, and uh, that's uh, that's that's big. Pay to play. I'm I'm not a fan of those games, and for some reason, 2K has been able to keep that out of a lot of their games. I feel like yep. EA killed Star Wars Battlefront. By ha- introducing that just for three or four weeks before they finally relented and said, "Okay, we're not doing this no more," and Battlefront never never became what it once was. Mm. So, uh, so you're on the right track. I'm excited for next year's. Good, so am I. We're busy. We're hard at work already. Already doing it. Already. Uh, and this last one, you know, I mean, it, we, we took two years to make it, but right, that's also two years during a pandemic. Right. So imagine, imagine how difficult that was for it was the like team. It was like supersonic right. speed. Yeah. I feel so, like. And from the ground up. Yeah. From the I ground mean, up, uh, we yeah, all in house, all through 2K. Nothing, right. you know, with um, our studio, uh, digital concepts. Yeah. So out of uh, out of Nevada, California. Wow, the uh, the graphics are unlike anything I've ever seen before. Oh I mean, yeah. I mean, I sometimes you're looking, you're like, this could be TV. 
Yeah. You know, it's like, wow, you know, depending on how they got the lights going and everything, it could be TV. It's the closest thing to real. I I've see a lot seen. of people on uh, TikTok. They are doing like 10 to 20 second videos of their created character or even characters that are already created coming down the entrance. I'm like, is that? Is that TV or is that a video game? Yeah, and you have right. to read the description, and it's like, oh, the WWE 2K uh, video game is out. And I was like, holy crap, that is awesome. Yeah, there are times where the kids will be playing, and I'll walk in I th thinking they're watching Raw or SmackDown. I'm like, <laughs> oh, wait, it's up. the game. You know, same thing with the NBA game. When yeah. I see them, I'm like, who's playing today? Oh, no, that's, it's the game. You know, yeah, it's right. incredible. It's Remember incredible. when we were uh, the, play the PlayStation 1 back in the 90s? We're like, I can't get any better than this. <laughs> right? yeah. well, let me tell you what. This has gotten way better. It's gotten way better. <laughs> yeah, if you squinch is right, it almost looks real. <laughs> right? It almost looks like a human. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Hawaiian Lions last match. Yes. Uh, he chose you to go out with. How does that make you feel? Uh, I'm, I'm honored. Um, right. You know, we've been tag team partners for, she's going on 17, 18 years. Uh, as a team, and I was also one that, that had a hand in his training right. when he started 20 years ago. So we've been more than just wrestling tag team partners. We're, we're brothers, you know. Um, we're not blood, but we might as well be. Close you know, as you can be. As close as we can well, be. You guys live like five minutes from each other. Yeah, you, you know, know I mean? we, we live close to each other. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, his son's my godson. My, you know, my daughters call him. Grunkle John, <laughs> Grunkle you know, so, John. and then he said, "Why, why Grunkle? It's like it's a cross between Grandpa and Uncle because you're so old." But, you know. <laughs> that sounds like what I'd say to you, man. No, man. I, I can't believe he's like he's like a year and a half younger than I am, and he's certainly wearing it a lot better. <laughs> unless he's unless unless he's using gallons of just for men, which maybe I don't know. I, I'm not so bad. funny story. I'm sure he doesn't want you to hear oh, the story, but right, yeah. So I would say it was going on three years ago. Maybe maybe a little longer. He already had the gray in the beard. Right. And I had him as he's been lucky though. Like like his hair. That's that's all him. That's all wow. on top of his head. Just just like me. Like uh, just dark hair, but beards are white. Thick. It's, yeah. Thick. You know. So, um, so John, you know, Hawaiian Line was booked for WWE as an extra in Las Vegas for Money in the Bank. I think that was the pay per view that was going on there. So myself and and Michelle and Keely, our, our youngest, we were sitting <laughs> ringside. When the doors open, we're sitting at ringside just to hang out and wait. And he comes out to say hi, and his beard is jet black. Oh no! <laughs> jet jet oh, black. No. So you yeah. knew we do right oh. away. I was like, "What did you do?" And he's like, "Well, I didn't want to have gray hair when I came for the you know to work for this WWE event, you know." And so <laughs> we just started laughing at him. It's like, "What do you do? You stick your face in a bowl of chocolate? What's going on?" <laughs> You know, hey, Hulk Hogan Start does filling it. in the white spots with permanent marker. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. So how did you meet uh, Hawaii Line? Well, let's see. So it was a 2002, I believe, when he started training. So, All right. So when Hawaii Line started training, he started training under uh, another ex-wrestler named CC Star. And CC called me up and said, Hey Nav, can you come down to my place and I want you to take a look at these guys that I'm that I'm training, you know, and see what you think. And so I went I went down to the, to the ring and I saw Hawaiian Lion and I could tell he was an amateur wrestler. Right, he had that that look to him, you know, right. the, the cauliflower ear and you know, the just, Kurt Angle look. <laughs> yeah, you know, and and uh, and so he's in the ring. There's, he's doing drills and he's rolling and and he did the first thing I I ever said to him was, "You're doing that wrong." <laughs> he, he he shot in and and he shot in on a. Well, watch this. He, he shot in and on a fireman's carry, but you know, just like you would in collegiate wrestling, but right. in professional wrestling, you're gonna do it a little differently because of how we wrestle. A so, little more showboating and cooperation, and a certain side of the body, you know, right. all that type of stuff. Right. You know, you, longevity you, is key. Yeah. So, you know, it's like you're doing that wrong, and he's just like. Looked at me. I was like, "Oh, okay." You know, but that—that that was first thing I ever said to him. Like, you're doing that wrong. That's <laughs> so what started the budding that's relationship. What, that's what started it right there. <laughs> and then I get in the ring with them, and and we start to wrestle around a little bit. And I was having such a hard time moving him, and and you know, stiff, you know, stiff. it was He's very planted, stiff. Right. And so that's when I gave him the lesson. I, I took a stick. And then I took a, a piece of rope. And he started hitting him with it. And I, yeah, I should have. I should have. It, it would have sunk in a little better. But no, I, I, uh, I showed him the rope and just moved it. And you know, so see how fluid this is? I was just moving. And he's like, yeah. I go, that's how you need to be. Right. And you see the stick and you see how this isn't moving at all? <laughs> like, this is how you are moving. So, 
It's just super stiff. So super right, stiff yeah. like the stick. But right away, that's That's how, like a good Mr. Miyagi lesson right yeah, there. Exactly. Wax on, wax catch, off. Catch exactly. The, fly. The, the best way I explained professional wrestling to him was through Star Wars. Really? You know, because he's such a, he's a big fan. Star Wars fan. Right. And I explained to him, you know, your, your basic storytelling of a wrestling match through Star Wars. Return you know. of the Jedi. So, I mean, <laughs> using, using episodes four, five, and six. Right, As the original. That, that if that you if you look at a wrestling match and you can break it down into those three movies, like the different parts of them, you know, you got your beginning where you're learning who who are these two guys that are in the ring, okay. who are your characters, right? Who, who's good, who's bad? Hmm. Then you have that, um, you know, you start to to show that that battle of like the good guys win, right? All right, and that's episode four. So the good guys are up in the match. They're they're showing that they're a better wrestler. Empire Strikes Back comes in now bad guy does something to cheat to get the good guy down starts to beat him down ah. a little bit there's your empire strikes back right. when they attack they find the rebel base they attack the rebel base next thing you know you know they're out in a run yeah luke loses a hand and where's han solo i've never heard that analogy yeah. compared yeah. to wrestling before that, is, that is really that, good that good guy that starts makes sense. to fight back and come back you know and make that you know try to get back on that track to win the match that's your return of the jedi right he blows up that death star again so boom you know it's like that's and it, it clicked he was just like oh Oh, you know? all right, <laughs> like, all right. Yeah. So, yeah, right. I, I like to use Star Wars for... You, you learned know. about him to find out what would easily exactly. help translate. What would okay, help teach, okay. you know, so, yeah. All right, well, that, that's awesome. So what's uh, what's next for uh, Navajo Warrior? Well, uh, let's see, as a Navajo Warrior, we're, we're going to go singles. Um, yeah. You know, for IZW, definitely singles. Uh, in Colorado, for Rocky Mountain Pro, they have a new... Uh, up and coming Native American wrestler that they wanted me to mentor and, and teach. So I was there last weekend, wrestled a few matches with Carry him. Carry on that legacy. Exactly. Okay, so. And so he was the big Buffalo uh, Brew. Is that so, his name? Brew Mock. Okay. So he's, but we call him the Buffalo. And he's a big kid. Tatanka. Exactly. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so right. Uh, teamed with him, started to bring him along and see how you know we can get him to improve, lit that fire under him. So, All right. so I will be teaming with him some places, but for IZW, I'm. Going to go at it alone and see what, what I can do as a singles competitor. All right. Well, before we let you go, I have to ask if you can uh, give us something along the lines of uh, this is Navajo Warrior, and when I'm not beating everybody's ass, I'm listening to Big Lib Radio. <laughs> could, could, you, could you give us something? Uh, like that? Of course I can. Make it yours. This whatever is whatever the, you want to say. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is the Navajo Warrior, the devastation from the reservation, Chief Graybeard. Wait, wait, scratch that. Big Chief Graybeard. The ninth strongest man in the world, over 50. <laughs> and when I'm not kicking butt in the ring or on the strongman competitions, I'm listening to Big Lip Radio. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice, nice. Best one we got so far. Best one we got so far. <laughs> That's great. All right, well, I know you've got a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff to do, so I don't want to hold you up. Well, thank uh, you. If you see Gino... Uh, send him back here. Yeah. Uh, see Classic, you can send him back here too, I guess. All right. Because we're getting about yes. that time. Yeah, we're I getting about yeah, that I don't time. Know you want that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he, every time you talk to him, he whoops your ass, Papa J. Yeah, oh, I, I think, think you want to avoid that. that. I don't yeah. think that'll happen. I'm close <laughs> with both of those gentlemen. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you very much.